As long as there is us and the world, we'll have a conflict. We will be in that conflict. When you embrace your true nature, when you are who you truly are, there is not you and the world. You and the world are one. But for that unity to flourish, what is you has to disappear. And what is you is our identity, is our ego structure, our psychological structure. And to truly understand we are absolutely not, and when we disappear as an ego structure, we are the world. There is no division anymore. There is no conflict anymore. In order to achieve that, we have to understand ourselves. And to understand ourselves, we only have thoughts, feeling, bodily sensation and dream. So it's only if we create a silent, non-judgmental witness in ourselves that we have a chance to progress in our maze. That witness has been called the callback of the self, the instauration of attention. You find that concept in many, many religion or tradition. But the point is really to become the scientist of consciousness. My philosophy may help you, but it's just a map. At the end of the day, the road is you. And to move on that road, you will encounter many, many resistance. Because the nature of your ego is to protect you from what is not you, to maintain the division. The division has to be maintained because we have to survive. We have to survive in a very aggressive society because human, this monkey, is very aggressive. Remember, Cain, Abel, Romulus, Remus. When you have two, you have conflict. So the point, once again, is to become scientist of yourself and understand thoroughly that division. Understand thoroughly the mechanism of that division. And when that division is thoroughly understood, it collapses. Because as a thought cannot think, a perception cannot perceive. And your identity, your psychological structure, is just the memory of old perception, the memory of old trauma, which are managed by the thinking process. That's why most of the time we are on repeat, we are on repeat, we are on repeat. If you really work on yourself, you may not free yourself, but you'll come to a point where you'll have clear the primary causes and you will be less and less and less on repeat. So the illusion of your life will change to a degree. But what really, is, what really matters is freedom. And to move up in the direction of freedom, we have to see what we do not want to see. That would be a good motto. I want to see what I do not want to see in myself. 